And Ian Boyson's final moments have been laid bare as the state called three witnesses on the first day of the trial. It's been harrowing testimony that will no doubt be revisited over and over again during this trial. The state's first two witnesses, a security guard who found Boyson, as well as the first police officer at the scene, have both detailed the injuries Boyson sustained during the attack. They've each told the court how they found her lying on the ground with her intestines hanging out. Police Constable Ricardo Mertz testified that Boyson's eyes were beaten shut and her legs tucked under her body. The 17-year-old was so badly injured, she was unable to speak. All she could muster up was a moan. The state's third witness is a friend and former colleague of the accused, Johannes Kana. He says he last saw Boyson when she and Kana left a local pub. It's still unclear whether the court will accept his testimony that Kana had allegedly made a confession to him. The day's proceedings proved too much for Boyson's foster mother. Kolia Ulifir sat behind a one-way mirror for the duration of the proceedings. She has refused to comment on camera but says she wants this ordeal and the trauma to end. Boyson was attacked allegedly on her way home from the pub in early February. She died in Cape Town hours later, but not before mentioning one of her alleged attackers, Jonathan Davids. Davids was acquitted earlier this year after investigators failed to secure enough evidence against him. Kana has since pleaded not guilty to charges of rape and murder, the state is expected to call another 49 witnesses to prove otherwise. Leanne Johnson, Swellendam Circuit Court in the Western Cape. News that moves. ENCA.com.